This is your friend Virendra. My beloved Bozum friends, I want to share with you the experience of great mother, Sri Anand Mahima, the Hindu spiritual teacher and guru from Bengal. She was considered a saint by many and was one of the prominent mystics of the 20th century. Let's fill our heart with the noble thoughts of the great divine mother. Precious gems are profoundly buried in the earth and can only be extracted at the expense of great labor. Divine happiness, even the tiniest particle of a grain of it, never leaves one again. And when one attends to the sense of things and finds oneself, this is supreme happiness. When it is found, nothing else remains to be found. The sense of want will not awaken anymore and the heart's torment will be stilled forever. Do not be satisfied with fragmentary happiness which is invariably interrupted by shocks and blows of fate but become complete and having attained to perfection be yourself. Acquire a firm will and the utmost patience to live in him under any particular form is not enough. Accept him in his numberless forms, shapes and modes of being in everything that exists. Aim at the whole and all your actions will be whole. As you love your own body, so regard everyone as equal to your own body. When the supreme experience supervenes, everyone's service is revealed as one's own service. Call it a bird, an insect, an animal or a man. Call it by any name at your wish, one serve one's own self in every one of them. Dear friends, these thoughts and these philosophy can transform our heart in a very kind, compassionate, enlightened human being. Suffering is sent to remind us to turn our thoughts towards that great Lord which is real, to God who will give us solace, peace, happiness and to realize the true meaning of life. Whenever you possibly can, sustain the flow of a sacred name. Repeat his name is to be in his presence. If you associate with a supreme friend, he will reveal his true being to you. Always bear this in mind. Everything is in God's hands and you are his tool to be used by him as he pleases. Try to grasp the significance of all is he, all is his and you will immediately feel free from all burdens. What will be the result of your surrender to him? None will seem alien. All will be your very own self. The manifestations of that Supreme Lord, his Maya, in every creation of this world, in man, in plants, in animals, 
He manifests in different forms. Joy and sorrow are time born and cannot last. Therefore, do not be perturbed by these. The greater the difficulties and obstructions, the more intense will be your endeavor to cling to his feet, and the more will be your prayer increase from within. And when the time is ripe, you will gain mastery over his power. He alone knows to whom he will reveal himself under which circumstances and in which form. By what path and in what manner he attracts any particular man to himself with growth, with great force, incomprehensible to the human intellect. The path differs indeed for different pilgrims. People have various visions of gods and goddesses according to their own predilections. What I was before, I am now and shall be hereafter. I am also whatever you and anybody may think I am. Why don't you look at it this way? The earnings have brought about this body. All of you have wanted it and so you have found it. That is all you need to know if you are a true seekers after the truth. You should kindle fire by any means either with clarified butter or sandalwood or even a straw. Once a light the fire burns on all, all worries, darkness and gloom gradually disappear. The fire will burn to ash all obstacles. God is within everyone, but man goes out in search of him. This is what constitutes God's play and God's creation. Inquire, who am I? And you will find the answer. Look at a tree. From one seed arises to a huge tree. From it comes numerous seeds, each one of which in its turn grows into a tree. No two fruits are alike. Yet it is one life that throbs in every particle of the tree. So it is the same Atman everywhere. All creation is that. There is beauty in the birds and in the animals. They too eat and drink like us, mate and multiply. But there is this difference. We can realize our true nature, the Atman. Having been born as a human being, we must not waste this opportunity, at least for a few seconds every day. We must inquire as to who we are. It is no use taking a return ticket over and over again from birth to death and death to birth in this world, in this sansara. But really we have no birth and death. We must realize that. Try to treat with equal love all the people with whom you have relations. Thus the abyss between himself and yourself will be filled in, which is the goal of all religious worship. Dear friends, without enlightenment we shall be searching happiness and it will never be achieved. Without Guru, nobody can get real peace of mind. The Great Mother 
the most revered one, a great Indian saint from Bengal, India, experienced the true miracles of God and Lord and shared with us. And I have the honor and privilege to present her thoughts before you and I am sure we have to practice this valuable experience of that great saint and illuminate our mind, heart and soul and so the darkness of ignorance will disappear and will come the light, the wisdom. Asado ma sadgamyo, tamso ma jyotir gamyo, mrityu ma amritam gamyo. Shanti, 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 Shanti. Love, peace and happiness may be in your heart. You should be blessed with all the happiness, all the enjoyment and all your suffering, all your sorrow, all your grief. The Father in the heaven will snatch away from you and give you peace and solace to all sufferings. May God bless all of us. Thank you very much. Jai Hind!